So welcome back to another video, everybody. It's been about a couple months, actually, I think, since I put out a last video. Um, we've gotten some snow since then. I uh, didn't record. I went on vacation, got a big snowstorm then. Snow's over, I hope, because all the snow equipment's put away. Um, for this reason, I'm going to show you uh, what I bought. We just got it in yesterday. Um, I ordered it probably seven months ago, eight months ago now. It came in uh, yesterday. It was in this week, so I went I picked it up. Um, I, it was a little bit of a special order. My dealer doesn't usually carry these, but since I ordered one, I did see they had another one in stock up there. But I ordered mine a little bit special. I'm, one thing came in, I left, and it's up there now. I have to go get it. Um, but I'm going to show you what I bought, what we had ordered, and I want to give you a little bit of updates on what we're going to do for the spring here. And we're going to go from there. So this right here is my brand new bad boy, 36-inch walk behind mower. Um, it's got an 18 and a half horsepower Kawasaki engine on it. That one also has a Kawasaki engine on it. Um, I hope that's enough engine for it. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull it outside. It's raining right now. I didn't really want to get it wet, but I'm going to pull it out. It's not raining that hard. Uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview of it. I have not ran it at all, to be honest with you. Um, I ran it for about five minutes and that was it. I'm still trying to get the hang of it because obviously everybody knows that runs walk behinds. They are not the same as zero turns and they run differently and stuff like that. But uh, looking down at the hour meter here, it's got 0.9 hours on it, brand new machine. Um, just looking at it, it looks like it's built pretty well, built pretty tough. Um, you guys are gonna see it a lot this season. It's probably gonna be used more than the big zero turn is. Um, I'm gonna tell you what the plan is with that um, and stuff like that. But I'm gonna pull this outside as soon as it stops raining and I will show you around the machine. So sitting up here at the controls, this is the switch you need to press to uh, keep the mower action engaged when you have it out of neutral, out of the neutral position and the brake off of it. Um, these are your handles. When you push these forward, that's wide open. This is your throttle or your speed control. And then all the way back is in neutral. You can still go in rever reverse even when your uh, speed control is in neutral. It'll let you back the machine up. This is your parking brake. That's released. And then to engage it is that. Of course, here's your PTO and your choke and your key. This is uh, your RPM uh, selector, all the way up, obviously, it's full throttle, all the way back is not, or is at idle. And then this just controls how fast you go in what speed. Um, we just hit the one minute or one hour mark pulling it out. Um, the thing that's a little funky about this is how you get the deck to disengage. So you press on it and then you pull up and then it drops like that. So, and then the, just lock it back in place. You just push down on the pedal. Uh, this is just like the other Husqvarna that I have. Um, you have your inch selector on here. It tells you what everything is. I had this one at like two and a half, in between like two and a half and two and three quarters. So over on this side is what does not come special or does not come standard on the mower. This switch right here, or this lever, I should say, operates the quick shoot the advanced shoot system on the machine all the way open and it's all the way open and obviously you guys probably know how this works but uh i bought this on here because i think every mower needs one i can't put one on the husqvarna but this one obviously you can i special ordered it for that reason now the bagging system for this machine is here uh, it's, at our, it's at the dealer the dealer's 45 minutes away though same place i bought this machine off of so I won't be getting that for a little while. I need to get back up there. Uh, and they also have some other things I need to get. Um, I did buy one other thing. You'll see that in a minute. Uh, but nothing that spectacular. But yeah, with the mower, like I said, it's an 18 horse, 18 and a half horsepower Kawasaki that's on it. Um, 36 inch deck should be good to get in and out of the backyards. Um, pretty well built, if you guys can see that. Uh, one other feature about this mower, gas gauges right here. You can always see where your gas is at. It must be a floating, um, uh bobber in there because it does move a lot especially when you turn it on but right now you can see it's almost empty it's at one fourth of a tank a little under actually um i don't know how big the fuel tank is on this uh it doesn't say but you fill it up right here your oil and your transmission or your uh hydrostats are down there and everything else is pretty simple um just a regular old zero turn uh this one needs some work done on it the husqvarna needs work done um, the brake thing that broke last year, if you guys saw that video, needs to be replaced. We have the pieces in there. I just brought it down from the back. I put all the snowblowers away. That needs to get fixed. 
the deck height selector needs to get fixed too on it um because that we took that off when we were trying to fix the brake switch and broke that got broken too uh blazing be sharpened on it blazing be taken off uh cleaned up the mower was washed last year it's pretty dirty though other than that oh oils need to be changed hydrostats both hydrostats need to be changed and the oil needs to be changed in it and i want to sit down on here we'll see how many hours are on this thing so right now we are at 133.7 hours so that mower got a lot of work last year obviously as being the only mower um i plan to use this more as like a backup and just for the big stuff um this year that mower is probably going to be the most used out of all of them just because of its size and how good it's going to be on hills uh but other than that that's all i have about this the husk of arm is sit down and about that bad boy i'm excited to use it see what, how it does in the season um, you guys are going to see it a lot, like I said, and I, bad boy gets a bad rap sometimes. I don't know if it's going to be the best, but we'll see. That's why I bought it. We're going to see what it can do and see if it competes with everybody else. I mean, I ran a skag walk behind, uh, whatever they're called, just skag walk behind. They're really nice machines. And I'd say it, it's, a, it's different, a lot different than that one. Anybody that runs skag is going to see that it's set up quite differently, but it's uh, still a pretty nice machine and I can't wait to try it out. We'll be mowing here in about three weeks to a month it's warmed up today it's, you can see my breath because i'm in the garage but uh it's warmed up a lot so we'll be mowing in about a month definitely a month and getting ready but this machine's got to get serviced that machine's ready to roll and we're ready to start the season out uh not many new clients yet we're still wait i'm still waiting on that uh but it's early in the season i didn't get a lot last year until like just grass was already growing then people started thinking about it that's just how the game works but I appreciate you guys appreciate you guys for watching but before i go i'm gonna show you this i did get a broom attachment for my weed whacker here it is pretty simple you guys seen these before it's a husky one uh still makes basically the same thing uh this would be good for spring cleanups and stuff like that getting rocks out of the thing you'll see this in use in a couple in the next couple of videos. but anyway i want to thank you guys for watching that's a quick little overview of that mower um, you guys are going to see the setup this year of the trailer setup, truck and trailer setup of this year. And right now, I'm only going to be able to run one mower at a time. Hopefully, in the next two months, you will see that we're going to be able to run two mowers. You're going to see you got something planned for that. But thank you guys for watching. Click the subscribe button if you guys like this video. If you guys want to see more of this mower, leave it in the comments. Let me know about that mower back there. You guys know my frustration with that mower, too. And I'll see you guys in the next video.